I can't wait to own a home just so I can complain about having to mow the lawn. Good morning everyone, it is Christmas Eve and we're enjoying our breakfast right now in this like Christmas festivus super duper decorated area. We're going to turn the fireplace on later. But we're eating some scrambled eggs and some turkey bacon which actually looks really weird but tastes really good so cool. A few moments later. I am probably one of the more busybody people you'll ever meet. So Allison just went to the store. Every single year they have a tradition where her dad buys her new running shoes. And so they're going over there to get the shoes right now. And I wanted something to do. So the leaves need to be blown. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> many failed attempts. This guy's not working. All right, blower attempt number two. Let's try this guy. shoes my dad gets me new running shoes every year for Christmas it's very sweet um, and I love them um, and usually need them by after one year but um, we went and got tennis shoes and then came back well went to the store too to pick up a couple things then just came back and I have been getting our presents into boxes and wrapping I'm saying this outside because my dad fell asleep on the couch which I'll show you what I'm wrapping well kind of show you the box Alrighty, all done, cleaning up all the leaves outside, came in, got a shower, got cleaned up, my hair pulled back, I need a haircut really, really bad. As you saw, Allison was wrapping some presents, and we've kind of just been hanging out now. I'm probably going to make some lunch dinner situation soon. Raking and blowing all those leaves, there's so many of them out here, we've been neglecting to do that for Allison's mom for quite some time, so they're like piled up quite a bit. Took me a few hours, so... I'm pretty, I'm pretty whooped, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not in uh, the raking shape anymore. I gotta be honest, kind of being a Michigan boy my whole life and being at a place to celebrate Christmas without snow is definitely bizarre. We've been down here in Atlanta before for Christmas, but every single time it always just strikes me kind of weird. But it's fun because it's something different and you could be in a t-shirt and Christmas Eve. I'm actually super proud of this lawn right now because it looked like that to start and that they normally keep covered. It's just kind of like pine situation from all the pine trees. But that actually had grass and so I kind of cleaned that off. I think it looks good. But yeah guys, this is the house where Allison grew up. How fun is that? The reason why I came outside to film is twofold. Number one is because I wanted to just film and everyone's talking and hanging out in there and I didn't want to disturb that. But two, I am a total 
busybody. So like doing the whole lawn and everything, I thought that was perfect that I could come out here and show you like what I did and finished today. But also I, I kind of told Allison's mother, let me know if there's things you want me to do. Um, with Allison's Nana passing away just a few months back, and this is the first Christmas and things like that, there are things that are just especially difficult. And if I can objectively help that, um, just because I had honestly the misfortune of only knowing Nan for a few years, I, I can more objectively, you know, clean up things or pack stuff away or do whatever we need to do. Also, the like, kind of like point five of that is it takes me days to decompress. I don't know about you guys where you go on vacation and do any of you give this video a thumbs up if any of you have like you need that time to unwind and like truly relax. Like we're gonna be here for a few days, so I will definitely start to unwind and you guys will probably see that on the vlog as well. But it takes me a few days to like kind of calm down, not be like go, go, go and like constantly doing things. It also allows me time for like my mind to start to slow down because as you guys know, like my mind moves a million miles per hour and I am definitely, definitely looking forward to decompressing, not thinking about work anymore, starting to think about maybe the vlog or YouTube or, or you guys, if you have questions, let us know because we have more time to answer those. Just kind of doing home projects and things like that is something that I really actually enjoy. It's, it's funny, I have this long running joke with some of the people I work with and my friends where I say, I can't wait to own a home just so I can complain about having to mow the lawn. And I know a bunch of you just now probably had the same thought that they did. And that is, well, if you want to come over and mow my lawn, you can do it anytime you want because during the summer, <laughs> it's the burden of my existence. But I guess it's just because I'm so excited for Allison and I to own a home. I'm so excited for us to have our own space. And even if I'm here helping craft someone else's space or doing chores or things like that it gives me some like small level of this is what it would be like and i and Allison and i really really are looking forward to that it's gonna be so much fun just being realistic with all of you though we're probably a few years off from getting that house we now that we're married and there's all these things that have happened we don't want to obviously overburden ourselves with extra debt or things like that. Meanwhile, we are not gaining equity by having not having a home. So kind of the next big thing that we're saving for is a home. So things to look forward to in the vlog. And obviously we will, when we go through the whole home buying process, we'll document that and we'll talk about it on here and we'll talk about if we have to renovate or do anything like that, you can expect it all to be on here because we are a lifestyle vlog. We are a family vlog. We're gonna be vlogging for a long time. So you guys can be here on the ground level. I just checked today, we have something like 630 subscribers and First guys, we are so fortunate to have each and every single one of you. I, I feel like sometimes YouTubers say like, we, we love you or thank you and blah, blah, blah. But like really, this is not how this whole experience on YouTube started. And it's really started to become a big community. I mean, Allison and I do this for ourselves and to document, but we get excited to put out content for each and every one of you. So thank you very much. All 630 of you are on the ground floor of something that is about to be amazing and blossom with our travel, our, our future family. No, we're not pregnant. And the getting a home and stuff like that. So thank you all. Strap on the seat belt because it's gonna be an awesome journey. What a wonderful Christmas Eve. Thanks so much for sticking with us tonight, guys. We are going to end the vlog right here. Allison is downstairs finishing up our final gifts that we're wrapping. Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate. Happy holidays to those of you celebrating otherwise. 
Just, we are very appreciative to you. Like I was saying earlier, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. We hope that all of you, if you had traveled, you had done so safely. Please enjoy the time with friends and family. And you know what? If you're just spending your Christmas with us, thank you very much. You are very much part of the family and we love and appreciate all of your support. Please give this video a big thumbs up for Christmas and just all of us being together. We really appreciate it. If you're brand new, be sure to subscribe and we will see you with another daily vlog tomorrow, which is Christmas. It's gonna be super exciting. Thanks guys, bye.